If you're an athlete, proper power development is crucial to success in your sport. Driving power through your hips, your shoulders, takes core stability and core power. So that's what we work on here in the Sports Performance Center at RDV. Um, and here's a video showing you how to develop proper core power, proper hip power through deadlift, front squat, and clean. Enjoy. Hip and shoulder flexibility are huge components of, of a front squat, of clean, of an overhead snatch. So we're starting off with some very simple, basic uh, front-facing wall squats, hands overhead, toes pointed slightly out, we're dropping our hips down to the ground. Turn it around, sitting up against the wall, and, and we're pressing our hands up back against the wall. Harder than it looks, try to keep your wrists up against the wall the whole time. Now as you're going down here, you want to keep your head up. That's the one critique I'll have on myself is my head is dropping low. But your back, your spine, and your shin, you need to keep that parallel shin torso angle the whole way through, which is pretty good here. Um, if you can't do this, there's no point in getting into a deep front squat or a deep clean. This is the first step right here. So here we're sitting up against the wall. The first goal, you want the hips all the way back up against the wall. Um, the goal really is to get the wrist touching the wall the entire time. If you can get your whole arm up against the wall, that's great. But the wrist pushed back, the shoulder blades drive down and back. So you get your shoulder blades, that scapular retraction, pinching back, the wrist pushing back into the wall, and the hips up against the wall, you're doing well. Just like with almost everything else you'll do, you want to start from the ground up, pushing through the feet, making sure your hips are strong and stable, your core is strong and stable. We'll do that by starting with a deadlift, We'll progress to the front squat and we'll get into our cleans. As we approach the bar, arms are long, chest is up, back is flat. I'd like to see it up a little higher than that, chest up. So we're here, spine is straight. Um, you want to keep the chest up and as you can see the elbows here are pointed out. You don't want to try to lift with your arms at all. The goal is really to push through the hips, push through the heels, get up as tall as you can. Fire the glutes straight forward and drive them back. Your chest is staying straight up and down right here. Going up to the ceiling as you drive your hips forward. During the front squat, you want your elbows up. The bar should be rested right across your clavicle, up on your shoulders. If your elbows are down, it's going to get into your wrists. If you're trying to hold onto the bar with your hands too much, Wrist might not be flexible enough, let it rest on your fingers, rest on your shoulders, get it up on top of your clavicle, shoulder blades are back, chest is up, hips drop to the ground. Push up through the heels, and drive to the ceiling. Now as you approach the bar, the first thing you want to think is elbows up. You see here the very first move is elbows go up. Drive up in front of the bar, you place the bar right over the clavicle, resting between the delta and the trap. You can be right up on your chest. Chest up tall, elbows up tall, and you begin. Drop down into your hips, and at the bottom you'll see very clearly still the shin torso angle is as parallel as you can get it. You get the chest up, dropping down into the hips, coming right back up, push through the glutes and drive them up and forward. Push through the glutes, and drive them up and forward. Chest stays up, elbows stay up, when getting into power cleans and hang cleans, make sure your arms are like ropes. You're driving through your hips. You want to get triple extension so your ankles, your knees, your hips lock out. You get as tall as you can. Remember the most important thing, chest up tall and your arms actually aren't doing the lift. It's your hips driving up and then you pull yourself under the bar, which is why it's so important to be able to do the deadlift, which is the starting point, and the front squat, which is the catch point. So if you can get the front squat and the deadlift, all you got to worry about is relax the arms, Pull yourself underneath to the front squat, stand back up. Take some practice. Really even starts to get back where it needs to be. Yes. Come here at the top, driving the hips forward, driving the knees, so you're going long, down, good, then I start to shrug. When I shrug, I can then drop into the deep squat, catch it down low. You see here, still we've got that good shin torso angle, stand parallel, weight stacked up, elbows are racked up high. There it is. 
So there you go. There's some uh, tips and tricks on a front squat, a deadlift, a power clean. But as you can tell, it is a complicated movement, so be careful. Um, there are a lot of techniques involved along the way that we couldn't hit on in this video. If you need any more help at all, please feel free to contact me. Remember, it, you need to be stable first. And to be strong, you have to be stable. And to be powerful, you have to be strong. And to be a good athlete, you have to be powerful. So prepare yourself to be stable. Build from there. I'd be happy to help you out. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me. Talk to you guys soon.